let Doggo out of here. Why is Shoutlin so thick, though? Like, seriously, it, it, it's like, look at it, man. Well, actually, don't look at it. <laughs> Kaihosha! But I'm pretty sure there's rules 34 is of the Vanny, though. <laughs>
don't you forget it. Wow, man. So, yeah. In a way, this is kind of like those battle tents in Emerald, too. Like, once you go in there, you cannot use any, any like, potions or anything like that. However, if your Pokemon have healing hold items like citrus berries and stuff, you'll still be able to use those. So just keep that in mind. In any case, White Tree Hollow has 10 areas to it. We need to find the boss trainer of each area. And after defeating um, the first five areas, we can unlock the Key Tree Hollow, which will allow us to use the Key Tree um, uh, Key System to swamp um, White Tree Hollow. Or rather, no, 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 fail. It will allow us to access White Forest and Black too. So, there you go. In any case, there's another reason why you want to complete all ten areas here. For one thing, we need to make our way down to Banga. If you recall, Alder's um, grandson, Banga, is one of the boss trainers in this, in this tree. So, if we can defeat him, we can get a really sexy prize out of it. Uh... How's it going? Are you a new challenger? Oh my! That expression on your face is telling me that you've got no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I don't. Alright, I suppose I could spare some advice for a newcomer. First of all, you should know that in order to complete an area in advance, you must defeat the boss trainer. You can try and sneak out, seek out the boss trainer without any leads if you want. However, it's possible a better, a better idea is to challenge the other trainers first. A lot of them know quite a bit about the area and may be able to provide you with useful info. Good to know. So basically, we could try looking for the boss trainer ourselves without any information, or we could just go and um, see, go and fight the trainers and get information from them. There's no Pokemon in this area, by the way, that you can encounter, so take the repel off. In any case, I would like to avoid most of these trainers if I can because a lot of them are really fucking annoying. Uh, hello newcomer, how are you doing? Take a look around this room. See, see that strange door? That's the gate that leads into the room where the boss trainer waits. The gate is closed right now though, so you can't go through. What? Uh. So let me guess, do I have to defeat somebody to unlock it? First, you'll need to find the gate trainer somewhere in this area and get him or her to open the gate for you. However, they'll only open the gate for trainers that they deem to be strong enough. So it's up to you to battle the gate trainer and prove your strength. Oh, by the way, the gate trainer of this area is actually me. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you somewhere in this area, so come find me. Wow, man. So the boss trainer, the boss trainer's gate is right here. We can't even access it until we find this bitch. Why can't we just fight her here? Uh, they just have to make this shit complicated. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man. Okay, so basically we have to find this bitch. Uh, can I fight you now? Hello, we meet again. How are you doing? You know that you can't use items in here, right? Yeah, I was told. Aren't you and your Pokemon starting to get a bit tired? If you are, seek out a nurse. Just talk to one of them and the nurse should recover your Pokemon. You'll have to have a battle first, though. Well, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting too long. Ta-ta! Wow. We could just face her here, but no, no, no. Oh well, but like she said though, if your Pokemon get like really like low in HP, you'll have to fight the nurse here, uh, obviously this bitch here. Talk to her, she'll heal your Pokemon, but you have to fight her first. So, there you go. <sighs> Can I fight you now? Well, newcomer, you finally made it. I've been waiting for you. You know what you have to do to open that gate, right? Let's get this started then. I'll determine whether you have the strength to face the boss trainer or not. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'll have the strength. First, by kicking your ass. Let's go! So it's time for a boss fight! Versus the Area 1 Trainer. Area 1 Gate Trainer. Uh, Alaya? Alia? Ali? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Can you imagine? No. Not really. In the case, Aquabetics! Boom! In any case, most of 
also, her Pokemon is trash anyway, so I can literally take her out with no issues. I mean, she's the area one um, gate trainer. So really, your Pokemon aren't that tough. Why are you using a level 54, my child? Why are you using a level 54, my child? Why was your Duramonka level 54? Why is it a Dermantan? This is why you lose! Seriously, who the, who the hell do you think you are? Ash Ketchum? Like, using unevolved Pokemon and you, like, have plot armor and your base form Pokemon can still win? No, that, that doesn't work for you, lady. Hmm, I lost. You're pretty good, you know. <laughs> All I did was spam acrobatics. With that kind of strength, you should be okay. I'll open the gate for you. Well, that was easy. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, man. In case the real battle awaits you, the boss trainer is the strongest in trainer in the area. The boss trainer is to the west of here. Go through the gate and give it your best. Right. The west of here, huh? Alright. <sighs> so I... I guess I just have to go back the way I came then. Alright. <sighs> Good to know. Just have to avoid these bitches. Oh. Was nobody in that room? Okay, I remember this room at least. No! Hurry up! Fuck! Why is this cop looking so angry? Like, seriously. His, his demeanor is all mean and shit. Huh. Man. I want to face him in a dark alley. <laughs> All right, let's face the boss trainer then. All right, now then. Well, you must be Area One's boss trainer. How's it going? Welcome to the White Tree Hollow, newcomer. Looks like looks like the gate trainer recognized your abilities. Now it's time for me to evaluate just how good you really are. Are you better than the trash that I just faced? Let's find out. Don't hold back against me. Let's battle! It's just time for a boss fight! Versus boss trainer Abigail. Yes. Now, Abigail's team... Well, her, her team is trash. Why? Like... I mean, I guess I should expect this because we're in the first area. So, yeah. Now, in normal mode, her team is in the low level 50s, like level 53. We're in challenge mode, bitches. So, level 58. It's all the range. Acrobatics! Seriously, if you're using a Watch Hog at level 58, you really stand no chance. Seriously. Who, who the fuck uses the Patrat line? Who the fuck uses the Patrat line? Is it really as good as people think it is? I don't know. Kyosha! that bitch out of here. Your World of Peace should be a Vanipede by now. And your Galette should be a fucking Golark by now. Why are you using unevolved Pokemon at high levels? You stand no chance! Acrobatics! Ew! This is why you people lose! <laughs> wow, man. You're more impressive than I imagined. I'll give you one final hint that you may find useful. You encountered all kinds of trainers on your way here, right? Did you notice that the information each of them knew was different? Some know where the gate trainer is, and some know where a nurse is, for example. Try battling with all the trainers to find the best way through this place. Be on your way now. I look forward to hearing all about your exploits. Cool, thank you very much. Alright. Well, that takes care of the first area. That was actually a pretty fun experience. Hey, Mike. Looks like you completed area one. You're surprised to commemorate your success. Alright, we get a protein. Yay. <laughs> now you can also challenge area two now. Good luck with your future challenges. Come, come back again now. Don't worry, I'll do so right now. <laughs> but yeah, we got time for one more area, viewers. Let's take on area two. Yeah. Thank you much. All right, now, 
Area one was basically the tutorial area. Now it's going to start to get a little bit more difficult. Because obviously not all areas of the White Tree Hollow look the same. So, oh, it isn't the challenger that everyone's been talking about. I hear you're stronger than you look. You're still new here, so I'll give you some advice. You know about the elevators, right? If you feel like you can't continue any longer, come back to the elevator in the area and return to the lobby. Any prize money you won in the area will be taken, a ba taken back. So it's important to know when to quit. So basically, if you're a complete pussy and you can't handle it, um, you can use the elevator to go back. But just take note, um, you will lose all the prize money that you accumulated. So yeah, you get EXP and prize money and shit here, just like it, as if it was regular trainer battles. So yeah, however, if you leave, you lose that money. So... Testing your limits can be a good thing, but don't overdo it. <laughs> Trust me, I've been through more than enough um, shit in this game to know when to quit. I assume that's the gate trainer, so guess we have to find a hiker. So, yeah, let's avoid the chef. Don't look at me, bitch. Of course, the gate would be on um, the other section would be over there, wouldn't it? Turn the fuck around. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> That's the problem with some of these trainers in here, too. A lot of them have Metal Gear Solid vision. So, if you think you're going to get past all of them, <laughs> good luck. Unless you're using a walk through walls code. Which, why the fuck didn't I use that in the first area? Walk through walls, bitches! Oh, yeah, baby! Ah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh. Hey, dude! How's it going? You're doing well. I knew you'd make it this far. Here, I'll give you another hint. When you've lost your way, when your Pokemon are feeling down, when you want to leave immediately, do you even have... Do you ever have times like those? Well, this book will certainly come in handy then. It's called Adventure Rules for Universe Challenge. It says here, press the X button to make the Retire button appear. Press that to return to the lobby. Of course, if you choose to retire, your challenge will be considered a failure. So choose wisely. I'm the gate trainer for this area, so I'll be waiting for you somewhere. Hmm, I guess so. Huh. If you were a hiker, why aren't you in the mountains? <laughs> Sorry, like most hikers are. Like, I, I keep thinking that every time I see a hiker, they're going to have a fucking geodude that explodes in my fucking face. Sound vulgar. <laughs> Yeah, your his geo dude is gonna explode in my face. Yeah, no, no, no. That being said, though, okay, now it's gonna start getting complicated now because we have different open paths now. All right, so, um, let's try this one. If I get lost, I get lost. So there you go. It will happen. Um, but yeah, here's the gate that we need to unlock. We just need to find that hyper trainer. And no, the guy that was in this room here is not the hiker trainer we're looking for. He's just a rando. So, there you go. <laughs> ah, keep it moving, baby. Yeah. Get in there! <laughs> there. There you go. Alright, that's the nurse of the area. Hmm. Well, this section is closed off, so there's nothing in here. Oh well. Damn. Try again. Okay, that path is closed. Oh, I did not mean to go in there. Try again. There you go. Now then. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Dude didn't even fucking see me. I'm like literally in your path, bruh. I'm a run. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Where's the right section to go, man? Because those other paths were blocked off, so I can't use those. Hurry up! Alright. Alright, that leads me back to where this baker bitch is. I think I literally just went the wrong way. I wonder... Let's see. Okay, so I, I, I'm gonna walk through walls here. Let's see if I make it to another area. 
right? <laughs> I'm trapped in! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Enough fucking around. Uh, 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 uh. Don't look at me, bitch! Impressive you've made it this far without giving up. You better give it your all. <laughs> you want to beat me? Don't want all your efforts to be in vain, do you? Viewers, I literally broke sequence right there. I literally just broke sequence. Normally, you're supposed to find the gate trainer, the hiker guy here in this area, to unlock the gate to get to this guy, the boss trainer. But I broke sequence, and I managed to get into the boss trainer's gate anyway. <laughs> Walk through walls is fucking broken and I love it! Now then, time to complete area two and graduate from being a newcomer. Huh, it's time to end your newbie status. So it's time for a boss fight! Versus area two boss trainer, Brent. Alright, now. Why do all the boss trainers so far look like they're janitors? Whatever. In any case, he has an ooze pheasant. Why do people use this shitty ass bird, man? Like, seriously, get a Star Raptor! Acrobatics! You! Seriously, why did they think making a pigeon. Why did they think making a pigeon was the best move for Gen 5? Out of all the shitty shit that they had to put in Gen 5, which wasn't a lot because Gen 5 was awesome, but one of the stupidest mistakes they made was making a fucking pigeon regional bird. I mean, seriously, we had that in Gen 1 with, with Pidgey's line. Ugh, whatever. We had an owl archetype with, with Hoo Hoo and stuff like that, and Noctowl. And then in Gen 3, we had, um, you know, Swallow was basically like Swallow, right? It's <laughs> Swallow. Come, shh. Hey, yo, what the fuck? There you go. Um, yeah, in Gen 4, we had, well, Raptors. Now that I think about it, okay, okay, viewers, roll with me on this. Why didn't they just make Rufflet the regional bird? Why? Rufflet is an eagle archetype! Rufflet evolves into Braviary! Why couldn't that be the regional bird? Why would you do a shitty thing as making a pigeon? Calm down. Calm the fuck down. But shh. There you go. Focus on the recording! In any case, congratulations, you graduated from newbie status. You still got a long way to go, though. Good luck in the next area. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> well, now that I know that I can just literally break sequence in this game, that pretty much makes this shit a lot more easier. <laughs> I don't even have to look for the gate trainer. All I gotta do is look for the actual gate that leads to the boss trainer, and I can just waltz in there and challenge him. Wow! You know what? I can literally just do that. You know what, viewers? Let's do one more area for the day, and we'll do the rest of White Tree Hollow next time. All right, let's do area three, because I want to, uh, I want to test out my sequence breaking skills here. Come on, hurry up. There you go. All right, uh, what's up, bruh? Have you come to challenge the White Tree Hollow? Oh, me, I'm here for a different reason. I'm just on the journey to become even stronger. Enough about that. Don't you think this place is strange? I mean, it wasn't even here two years ago. It's full of mysteries, I'm telling you. Whatever, I'm satisfied as long as I can continue my training. Anyway, see you around. Uh, thanks, dude. Okay, so he wasn't, wait a minute. I thought that guy was the gate trainer. I guess he was just a rando. Huh. Well, there you go, viewers. 
All right, now we gotta find the um the boss key. Walk through walls. Now, viewers, of course, if you're not using walk through walls, you'll have to wait. You'll have to look for the gate trainer. But as for me, I can sequence break that bitch. <laughs> Damn. Ah. <laughs> Get in there, baby. There you go. All right. Uh. Okay, so where is this guy? Yoink! Keep on looking. Breaking sequence as I go. This path is blocked off too. Ugh. What the hell? I, I, I literally just went in a complete circle. Now I'm back here again. Okay, dude, that was that was crazy. Walk through, boss. Ah, uh, getting through. Excuse me, gangway. Ah, there you go. All right, now then. Okay, sorry, dude, but I'm not fighting you today. Ta-ta. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually. There was a locked gate in there. Wait for this to pass. There you go. Alright. Yoink! Alright, what's in here? Ha ha! I found her! Wait a minute! The boss of this area is a Pokemon Ranger? Uh, uh. Please don't give me a berry afterwards. I didn't stand a chance. That last trainer was in another league. Makes me jealous that someone else has so much natural talent and strength. Oh well, enough of that. It's your turn next. Come at me. Come at me. You know you want it. Cause it's time for a boss fight. Versus Area 3 trainer, Carly. Carly. Ugh, whatever. Just looking at Pokemon Rangers makes me sick. No, no. Just kidding. They're not that awful. No. There are way more awful people. Like Pokemaniacs, for example. No, no. Pokemon Rangers are annoying. Don't get me wrong. Repentance! But if we have to think about who's the most creepy and awful looking, it's the Pokemaniacs from Gens 1 and 2. Yeah. Now, don't even get me started on Gen 3's version of Pokemaniacs with their comps playing and shit. I think that's when comps playing was actually starting to become a thing. Back in the, um... The mid 2000s. Yeah. I still don't understand it. Whatever. Kai Hosha! That plant doggo out of here. Why is Stoutland so thick, though? Huh? Like, seriously, it, it, it's like. Look at it, man. Well, actually, don't look at it. <laughs> Kai Hosha! But I'm pretty sure there's rules 34s of Levani, though. <laughs> what? Seriously, look at it. Like, look at me. I'm, uh, I'm an elegant leaf princess. Yeah, that's in, um... What's that other Pokemon? Elegant. Yeah, you know, the big flower um, lady Pokemon. Yeah. Mm. I'm so sexy. I'm a princess. Look at me! Acrobatics! Dude! Huh. Oh yeah. Why I use that on a Moga? I should've known that wouldn't have worked. This will though. Did I uh Bruh. I am not losing to a fucking Amoga! Try to go diver! There you go! Get your little ass bitch ass out of here. Huh. You could defeat my Hydreigon? Hell nah. Impressive. You've certainly proven your strength. In honor of your completion of Area 3, I'll give you a hint for Area 4. Starting with Area 4, the areas become much larger. That means it becomes even harder to find the gate trainer. Pay close attention to the hints that other trainers give you, and you do your best to find the gate trainer. Good luck. I'm excited to see how far you will make. Ah, well, thank you. Mm, excuse me. Wow, that was simple enough. <laughs> 
Now that I know that I can sequence break, it's going to make getting through this even funner. Alright, and we get a calcium. Yay. Give me something that's actually rare. You know? Not shit that I could just purchase from the Route 9 fucking department store. Which I think is on ice now, by the way. So, yeah. Now that I think about it, I think uh, Opelousa City is, is, um, got... I think they removed that ice now, so... Cool. We'll be sure to check that out later, though. In any case, viewers, we got... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got, like, seven more areas in the White Tree Hollow to take down. But, how much sequence breaking will I do? Or will it become harder to do so? And what awaits me in the final battle against Bunga? Find out next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for Gaming Bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from this is Mike from Rage for Gaming. And I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile you later.